The Family Treasure. On a warm summer morning, you could hear the laughter of children playing in the yard. The smell of pancakes floated over the air. Gigi called out that breakfast was ready. The children ran to the table and saw a large plate of pancakes and homemade syrup. Brady and Miley crawled onto the bench and snuggled in next to their cousins. Leah helped her little sister fix her plate, and all at once the yard fell silent as the children waited for the blessing to be said. After the prayer was given, Gigi poured a glass of milk for each of them and announced, I have a surprise for you today. What's the surprise? asked Kesley. We are going on a treasure hunt. Excitedly, Leah asked, When we find the treasure, do we get to keep it? Yes, we get to keep all the treasures we find, Gigi explained. And the gems we find will grow even bigger as we work together. Camden thought about this as he took a bite out of his pancake. So, you mean if we work as a team, we will find more treasure? Yes. Teamwork is one of the most important parts of our treasure hunt. The more we work together, the easier it will be to find the treasure we seek. Do you think we can work as a team? Gigi asked. As she said this, Kesley smiled and looked at Haley. She held up her hand. Pinky promise. Haley and Kesley interlocked their pinkies and began to giggle. This made Gigi smile, and with a little twinkle in her eyes, she continued. Before we begin our adventure, I need to explain the rules. The most important one is the golden rule. Do you know what the golden rule is? Haley raised her hand. I know, I know. It is to love others as Jesus loves you. Brady copied his big sister as he bounced on the bench. Jesus loves you. He loves you and you and you and you. Pointing to each person and finished with a big, and me too. Nice job, Gigi exclaimed as she ruffled Brady's hair. You are right. Jesus loves us, and we are very special because we are each a child of God, created in his image. In fact, we are his most extraordinary creation. Kaysen shifted to his knee and raised his hands while he asked, We are his most extraordinary creations? Gigi smiled, but before she could answer, Kesley questioned, Are you talking about heaven? What is heaven like? Gigi winked at Kaysen as she could see the children wanted to know how she would describe heaven. Well, I'm not exactly sure. I know that we were happy there. We felt safe and loved. We learned a lot of wonderful things and we wanted to come to Earth. Kaysen spoke up with another question. Wait, did we know everything? Gigi's smile grew even bigger. No, we didn't know everything. That is one of the reasons we wanted to come to Earth, so that we can continue to learn and grow. What do we need to learn? Leah asked. I love to learn. That is a great question, replied Gigi. One thing we need to learn is how to be a happy family. We are a happy family, Haley said. You are right. We are a happy family, Gigi continued. But our family is more than just brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, parents and grandparents. The family is the most important part of our Heavenly Father's plan. When we learn about the plan of salvation and eternal life, it's really the plan for a family, God's family. Camden looked a bit confused. So, who is our family? Gigi laughed. Well, it's everyone who ever lived or will live, all humankind. We are all spirit children of heavenly parents. That makes us an eternal family. Leah held up her hands. Wait a minute, Gigi. Do you mean it is for everyone, no matter what? Yes, Leah, no matter what. It is for every person, every family, every faith, and every culture. Kavanaugh reached out his arm to help his little sister, who was trying to clear her plate. Gigi, does that include our friends? It most definitely does, she answered. That is why the golden rule is so important, because we are a family. Haley looked up at Gigi, holding her plate. Is there another rule for our treasure hunt? Yes, we are. There is another rule. What is it? Haley asked. Looking to be sure all the children were listening, Gigi said, The next rule is to always remember that we are each different, unique, and important. As we use teamwork and the golden rule, we need to remember to use our individual strengths. This will make our family stronger. Camden and Kaysen gave each other knuckles and turned to high-five Brady. The last rule before we begin, Gigi said as she gathered the children around her, we need to be patient. Patience will help us when something is hard. Hard? Is this going to be hard work? Leah questioned. Gigi said, the treasure hunt requires effort. Sometimes we call that effort work, and I think that's the best part. Because when we work at something, we get better. And when we get better, we do better. And better is always more fun. Don't you agree? Each of the children nodded. Now who's ready for our adventure, she said as she opened the gate. 
Let's head towards the ponds. Brady pointed to the fallow deer in the back field. Dottie, Olaf, Coco, Sven, Haley asked, can we feed the deer? Don't you want to go search for the treasure? DG asked. Yes, but can we feed the deer first? Kaysen was already to the next gate, waiting for Gigi to say it was okay. Grandpa had been waiting for them, and he already had the buckets of sweet feed for the deer. The children grabbed handfuls of feed and walked slowly over to the deer, waiting for them to approach. Soon they were surrounded by them, and Grandpa and Gigi moved in closer to help refill their outstretched hands with more food for the deer. When the buckets were empty, Grandpa put the buckets away, and the group continued their walk to the ponds. Along the way, the girls started to pick wildflowers along the path and created a bouquet. Camden spotted an antler on the hill and showed Kaysen. The boys ran off to fetch it. Brady was trying to keep up when Kaysen noticed and held out his hand to help Brady climb over a branch that had fallen. On their way back to the path, they saw a lizard and got distracted for a while trying to catch it. When they did catch it, they brought it back to show the girls and each took a turn holding the lizard before letting it go. When they finally reached the ponds, they all sat under the pavilion to rest for a bit. Can we go out on the paddleboard? Leah asked. I thought we were looking for hidden treasure, Grandpa said. We are, Leah responded. But can we just go out for a minute? Grandpa gave Gigi a nudge, and they both began to help the children put their life vests before getting onto the boat. They played and laughed the afternoon away. The children were having so much fun that they didn't notice the tents their parents had pitched on the other side of the knoll on the far side of the ponds. The afternoon passed quickly, and the cooler of snacks and water Grandpa had carried to the ponds was almost empty. Haley and Kesley joined Gigi on the dock under the pavilion and said, We are getting cold. No sooner had they said that than Camden noticed smoke, telling Grandpa, who looked surprised and said, Something must be on fire. We better go check it out. Everyone worked together to tie up the boat and put the life jackets away. Then they walked around the bend to the road that led them in the direction of the smoke. Brady tugged on Gigi's hand. I'm hungry. She scooped him up in her arms, and he tried to reach Miley, who was riding on Grandpa's shoulders. As they came around the bend, they saw their parents sitting around the fire pit, waiting for them with a Dutch oven feast. All at once, the children acknowledged how hungry they were. While the children had been playing with Grandpa and Gigi, their parents had set up camp and made dinner. After everyone had eaten, they sat snuggling around the fire. Jackson and C asked if the children had enjoyed the treasure hunt, and all at once, the kids started to chatter. Oh no, oh no, we, we forgot about the treasure hunt. Gigi asked if they remembered the rules of the hunt. Kesley said, the golden rule is the most important. Cameron and Kaysen simultaneously said, teamwork. They grinned and each gave each other knuckles. Leah said, we need to remember that we are each unique, different, and important. Haley said, we need to have patience when things are hard. Grandpa asked, what makes us strong? Kaysen said, when we use all the rules together. Grandpa said, can I ask you another question? Each of the children nodded their heads. Did we do that today? The children took a moment to think, and then Haley spoke out. But we didn't find any treasure. Well, what about the antler Camden found? Is that a treasure? What about catching that lizard? Is that a treasure? Again, the children nodded their heads. What about the beautiful bouquets each girl made? Is that a treasure? Then the children started to share their own ideas of what they thought a treasure could be. When we fed the deer, that's a treasure, right? When we worked together on the boat, that's a treasure. When we said sorry for spilling the fish crackers in the pond, Haley said. When we took turns steering the boat. And they went on sharing how they had worked as a team, showed love toward one another, and were patient and understanding with each other. As the family looked up at the starry night sky, Kaysen asked in wonder, are we really God's most extraordinary creation? Gigi put her arm around Kaysen, drawing him in for a hug, and said, yes, we are.